so hello guys welcome back to my channel this is my yam and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i prep my yam you know i normally buy my yam in bulk it is in carton so when i buy it for it not to get spoiled i will just prep it and uh, put it inside the deep freezer i will be using it just the way i want to cook anytime i want to cook i'll bring it out from my deep freezer then i will just boil it so today video i decide to share with you guys how i prep my yam and if you want to know that please sit back and uh, relax and make yourself comfortable and enjoy the rest of the video so guys to start with So guys, as you can see from this video, I've already washed the yam, clean it up and uh, it's ready to peel. Now, the reason why it's good for you to wash your yam before you start peeling it is to take off all the gems or the dirty that is inside the yam that came from the soil. And after all, you don't know where that yam is coming from. So in this video, I will be showing you different method how I prep my yam, how I peel my yam to preserve it, okay? And that is the container I'm going to be using to, you know, separate everything. And uh, please, guys, if you want to know how I do this, keep on watching and enjoy this vlog. So right now, I'm going to be cutting the first one. This one I'm cutting for, this is the one I'm going to be boiling, like maybe boiling yam, if I want to boil it. This I'm cutting it. It's a bit big, not too tiny. As you are watching this video, you will see that the next one I'm going to be cutting, the the next one I'm going to be peeling, the cutting is still going to be different. I hope you understand what I am trying to explain to you. So guys, keep on watching as I peel the yam and uh, in my this container, I have my water because it's good for you to put your yam inside water while peeling so that the color will not change because it's very fast for yam to change the skin why peeling it okay so now i have peeled the first one and uh, i'm just going to cut it this is just take a look this is how i cut it so this i'm going to be boiling it you know this size is not so big it's not so small so i just put it inside the bucket or the entire into a bowl and i'm continue pulling it until i finish it Keep on watching guys and enjoy this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel and you have watched to this time, what are you still waiting for? Subscribe to this channel, turn up your bell notification. That way you will get a video anytime Mama Flossy upload a new video. For my old returning subscribers, I just want to say thank you so much for always coming to watch my video. May the good Lord continue to bless you all in Jesus name. Amen. Keep on watching guys. So guys, the next one I'm going to be peeling, this is the one I will be using for like yam porridge and I'm cutting it different way as you can see what I am doing from this video. I cut it just like um, sugar size, I think that is what they call it, sugar size, yeah. So that's how I cut it and this is the one I'm going to be using for porridge. So and uh, like this, it will be very easy for you to know, you know, well, why bringing it from the freezer because the cuttings are not the same so in case you want to make like porridge you know the one for porridge in case you want it boiling yam you know the right one in case you want it fried you know the right one so now this is how i'm cutting it and uh, that is it i think this yam is i don't understand this yam i just cut it and the inside is a bit yellowish or that i don't know so this is the most important thing that is better for you to peel your yam and put it inside the freezer before eating it before using it because it gets spoiled very fast the last time i bought the yam i think i lost two or three yam they got spoiled before we finished eating it because i did not peel it that day i was just so lazy to do it but this time i'm not giving taking chance again so that's why i'm doing this today and sharing it with you guys so guys this one i'm going to be peeling this is the one we are i'm going to be frying you can see i cut it 
is very tiny the size is very tiny and this second one this third one also have some spoiling area this yam is getting spoiled so fast i don't know why so right now what i'm doing i'm just trying to peel it after peeling it i'm going to be cutting it and take a look at what i am doing so as you can see from this video i cut this one tiny like the size of uh potato you know as you can see i'm just demonstrating to tell you guys that this is the one to fry and you can just dip it inside your egg sauce or your stew and enjoy you know what i mean <laughs> so guys this is what i am doing you can see the cutting is very different i hope you understand it and then um, when you buy your yam make sure you peel it and peel it and just follow this step and you will see you will enjoy the yam you will not lost anyone no one will not spoil from it so guys keep on watching and enjoy the rest of this video give this video a huge thumbs up if you know this video is helpful give the video a thumbs up and uh, keep on watching so guys right now i'm going to be adding some salt into the peel yam i have already peeled it and i rinsed it and now i just put the yam inside this filter to drill out the water so that i can pack it the way i want it so right now the one i add this so this is the one i'm going to be fry you know this is the one i'm going to be fry anytime i want to eat it so i add salt to it but this one in the other container in the other filter this boil this one is the boiled one i'm not going to add salt to this but everything depends on you if you want to add salt to everything at the same time you can just do you just do what you know that works for you but for me i prefer adding salt into the fried ones and the reason why i allow the water to drill out because it is going to help you when you want to cook especially the one to fry it's not going to stick together because everything will remain one one you want it to be one one when you bring it out from your deep freezer so that's why i like you know putting it first for this filter for the water to drill out before packing it into my frozen bag this is what i'm doing this one now this is the boiled one i will just put it inside and then keep it aside to ready for freezer so guys i know if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends okay don't just enjoy all the good thing alone okay so guys that is it and uh, keep on watching this last one i'm going to be packing this is the one i'm going to be using for my yam porridge you know the size is also different this way is going to be easy for you while bringing it out from your deep freezer it's going to be easy for you to know which one and which one you want to take so guys keep on watching and uh, see you guys in the next vlog thank you so much for watching